Hello there everyone, my name is Tom Squalo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bitcoin has actually surged all the way to $47,000, so $48,000. What is next? Is $52,000 next for Bitcoin? And <laughs> let me show you some data and let me actually conclude the answer to this question together with you. So watch this video from the beginning and until the end, a very important one, because also I want to mention something very deep in this video, something that I wasn't expecting personally and something that you really need to know if you're into cryptocurrency. So if you're brand new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Apologies for being in the road, but it's Saturday anyway, so deal with it. So now, uh, what are we are saying? Let me just get through some of the news very fast and some of the reminders very fast. And the most important reminder, quickly, 20 seconds out of the way. If you want to be trading on an exchange that gives you up to $30,000 in initial deposit bonuses, and also which gives you access to my uh, VAP trading community for free for lifetime, then use my link to buy bet down description in this video. Uh, even if you already have an account, you can create a new one using some other form of ID, maybe a driver's license or something you didn't use in your previous account. Or if you don't have an account at all, I really suggest uh, trading on Bybit. Again, not financial advice, but something I'm personally doing. I hold millions with Bybit and uh, it's a good exchange. Gives you bonuses and also gets you into uh, my community. Link to it in the description of this video and other bonuses. You can pause the screen and have a look. So now the show today is going to be short and sweet. So let's move to the next part. And the next part, just real quick, what I wanted to show you is the power of going against the crowd. You know, remember when FTX was collapsing, when we had this tremendous amount of hatred towards Bitcoin, this was right here in the bear market around this vicinity, which ended up being our bottom. And I made a video back then, you know, saying that this is the point where, you know, I was saying that guys, my uh, hands are shaking here. This is a video. It's a year old, basically, where I was buying 30 Bitcoin right at this price zone of $17,000. A lot of you guys called me crazy saying, Thomas, you're stupid. Uh, price of Bitcoin is going to be going down all the way to 5,000, 10,000, whatever. Well, I actually made an experiment and I just want to keep it this way that this Bitcoin that I've purchased a year ago, 30 Bitcoin, actually this day, that day actually ended up purchasing 39 Bitcoin. I actually put them into a separate hardware wallet and I want to keep them in there, those Bitcoin for, the, for this bull market. And just to prove the point, I spent half a million on those Bitcoin. And again, I bought other Bitcoins. Certainly I bought Bitcoin at 40,000, 30,000, 25,000, and 17,000. But for the purpose of, purposes of this video, here are these Bitcoin uh, right here. So for, uh, where is it? So this is right here, 39 Bitcoin. Currently they are worth 1.8, so $1.9 million. So 500,000 into 1.9 million. This trade right here, I made 1.4 million by doing nothing in a year. And I told you to buy Bitcoin together with me. So I don't know if you listened to me or you didn't listen to me. And I will hold these Bitcoin until the moment I sell them. And I'm going to tell you when I sell them. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, and certainly all my other Bitcoin, because this is only a small fraction of the Bitcoin that I own. But anyway, just wanted to prove the point that when Mr. Sporon is saying something, you better listen. I'm not always right, but for the most part, I am. So now into the news. And the news are right here, first of all, which actually is going to feed the narrative that I want to actually convey to you today as to what we were saying right now and what I'm expecting from the price. So for now, for one, we have crazy accumulation. So these are the wallets with more than a thousand Bitcoin in them. So this is crazy spike in accumulation by whales because arguably a thousand Bitcoin or more. I personally, unfortunately, don't have a thousand Bitcoin yet, but I'm working towards it. So this is big players and they are accumulating like crazy. Next thing, which is when I found this, I was like, damn. Fidelity, trillion dollar uh, asset manager. Yeah, all in one conservative ETF actually currently, if you look, if you read this here, Fidelity has a one to three percent Bitcoin allocation in their all in one asset allocation fund in Canada. So Fidelity, imagine one to three percent into Bitcoin. And this I know this is Canada, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming to US and the rest of the world and all of their portfolios. One to three percent of this huge money and these asset managers, if it, if it flows to Bitcoin, including BlackRock and other ones globally, and right now we have Hong Kong also going for DTF. If you just do the mere calculation as to what can happen to the price of Bitcoin, it can surge 
past the capitalization of gold that easy. Like, that easy. If you just have a brain and you can do simple math. So, Bitcoin at 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 is no longer anything impossible, guys and girls. So, and it's just math. It's not my opinion. It's just math. So, and moving on, also BlackRock is currently hinting at bigger Bitcoin plants amid ETF success. So, they are ramping up. And just to give you a perspective, what it means and what it all looks like on this right here, which actually, if you think about it, this is like, holy shit. Remember that there is about, what, 21 million Bitcoin ever that will be in existence. And right now, after one month of ETF being traded, BTF, uh, Bitcoin ETF reserves rise over 200,000 Bitcoin worth 10 billion in just one month. One month. So imagine this. And I mean, it doesn't even include the GBTC. GBTC is holding like hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin. So that's like, at this point, we have close to like 10% of entire Bitcoin, 5%, already held by ETFs. What is going to happen when FOMO kicks in? What's going to happen when the pension funds are like, oh, we need this, and it will happen. Why not? Why wouldn't it? People before said, oh, the ETF will never happen. This is bullshit. Bitcoin is garbage. Yeah? What the fuck are you saying now, motherfucker? What? Idiots. So, now this brings me to the chart. And this brings me to what we're expecting next, because in all fairness, let me admit something, because if somewhere I'm a bit wrong, I always admit it, because I'm Mr. Spot on, that's why you follow me. So I told you that here, when are we gonna have the sell the news? And I told you that the shorting zone is 49 to 50,000. And look, we touched it spot on. And then we corrected all the, all the way down to 38,000. And where was I wrong? I was wrong here because my accumulation and my trade area was between 37 and 38. And my stop loss, if I would have entered into a long trade here, would have been 36. So I didn't make it by like 500 bucks. Look at it. This is, and then we just exploded again to the upside. But this also makes me quite happy to see this. Why? Because me and my entire team, we kind of expected a slightly, possibly, again, it's all about probability, but possibly a slightly bigger correction on the sell the news of the ETF, because we thought it was gonna be bigger. And right now what we're realizing by just merely looking at this price action and that we are just back literally at the local high after the sell the news type of an event, and we have halving coming up and we have Fed pivot coming up, and we have so many other things and such a crazy, crazy accumulation from whales and China and US ETFs. You know what this leads me to believe? And I, like and seeing that the price is so resilient that every every sale is being bought up, it's visible on chain. You know what I want to do? So for one, I'm removing this completely and we're removing it together. So shorting area, and this was the stop loss for the shorting area. So I am removing any targets for any shorting areas because uh, I am not going to be shorting Bitcoin unless something really big happens and unless something changes, I'm going to keep you updated. So subscribe to that notification bell. Anything in trading can change at an instant. But for now, this is the last, this is the least of our worries to find a shorting area. What we need to be finding in Bitcoin from this point onwards is longing areas because I think personally that we're entering the bull market territory. We've arguably already entered the inception of the bear market, uh, bull market territory a while ago, but right now it's becoming more and more official with the inflows and the data we were saying. So get ready. The shit is about to get real. The pumps are about to get very real in the next few months. And what is most importantly, so when it comes to the target, we've had these two targets, actually, that I told you about before, 25 to 31 and 52 to 58, two zones that we expected uh, to happen by the, uh, the latest by the end of February. These are just statistical. I'm just showing you the brief overviews, but these are just statistical algorithmic um, targets also partly AI generated as well. We use different types of analyses that with a probability of, as it says here, with a statistical probability of 83%, the chance of either target by the end of February of 2024. So 83% chance and which target we are betting on right now by the end of Feb. 
guess what? It certainly is not going to be this one. So with the current price action and everything I've just mentioned in this video, we are fully on moving to a 80 to 90% probability of, of us by the end of this month hitting this area right here, 52 to 58,000. So this is becoming real. And this is what we are starting to expect. And let me tell you this, let me be absolutely clear that every single one correction we might see, because maybe because of the halving, because sometimes it happens, sometimes not, and any other correction because of some invented black swan event, whatever. Any single one of these officially now will be buying opportunities and the generational wealth creation opportunities because the bull is here, it is real. And any correction of any size is gonna be an opportunity. And I will be whatever cash I have left, because I have like whatever, even in that pool, like 4 million left. So I will be deploying it into Bitcoin, crypto, uh, Ethereum, and other assets, altcoins, etc. So I'm going to keep you updated about all of these. So subscribe and hit that notification bell. And most importantly, guys, check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin with proper risk and money management. Because if you're in my community, use the link to buy a bit, join my community, um, see all of my trades and trades of my team. But remember that you need to understand how to actually trade. So here is a tutorial. Check it out. And as always, peace and love. Time scroll. Stay smart. Stay very rich. Have an amazing weekend. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.